This is actually one of several large fires that have swept through the area, so we wanted to know why it's prone to these big fires. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is in the newsroom getting answers tonight. Marley. Elizabeth and Tony has actually long been identified as an area vulnerable to a large fire with mounting forest fuels, considering it hasn't burned in nearly a decade, then at a growing population with more homes being built and it's inevitably a fire risk. Persistent flames and thick smoke making the Caldor fire a daunting task for crews. We know this fire has uh, done things that nobody could have predicted, but that's how firefighting has been in the state this year. Firefighters up against challenging conditions on the ground. Experts say the American River Canyon is ripe for big fires because the flames move uphill quickly on steep slopes. The rough terrain makes air resources critical, but even that's had its challenges with smoke from the nearby Dixie Fire. And it has to be safe for our pilots in our uh, fixed wing to be able to fly um, and to get in there. And uh, when when that air is clear and we can take those targets of opportunities, uh, trust me, we, we are doing that. The Caldor Fire is actually the latest in a series of destructive wildfires along the Highway 50 corridor. The U.S. Forest Service says there's been a pattern of human-caused blazes in the area dating back to 1973, with arson, cars, campfires, and power lines to blame. But no matter what the challenge, fire crews more than willing to take it on. And I know to many, it feels like it's running completely out of control, but there has been a heck of a firefight underway now for the many days since the initial attack. You may remember the last major fire in this area was the King Fire in 2014. That burned 100,000 acres, wiping out a dozen homes. That prompted the Fire Adapted 50 project, prepping the area for fire prevention, including a massive fuel break. Yeah, we'll see if that comes in handy on this one. Thanks so much, Marley.